Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on something called, um, people call it different things. I have a name that I'm pretty sure is wrong, but it's what I've stuck with. Um, I believe it's called Recia Fluitans, um, but I call it Rickia. Um, and I think I've, I've heard other people call that too. I don't know where I got that from, but you probably could just hear me keep calling it Rickia um, throughout the video. But it's also uh, known as uh, Floating Crystal Wart, I think is another common name for it. So, um, with that said, a um, little bit about it from what I found. I know there's a lot of information out there. Um, I personally was drawn to it because it almost looked like a grass. Um, but one of the things that I found, I'm not good with plants in the aquarium hobby. So what I tend to st uh, stick with is a lot of mosses. And somewhere I read, for whatever reason, is that Rickia is a moss. Now, I've heard a lot of other places it is definitely not, um, but with that said, it seems to kind of grow fairly similar. Um, it seems to feed off the water column. I don't put any type of nutrients in my water. Uh, most of my tanks, the only thing they have in them is a little bit of aqua soil and just some type of a living creature. That's, that's pretty much the basis for all my aquariums. Um, now this aquarium, which I don't know if you've noticed, you might see, there is literally nothing in it. Um, I'm moving away from Rikia um, for the moment. Um, and this tank was just kind of... I cycle through different things. I have, this is a 10 gallon tank. I've got about 16 of them. I've got some other tanks as well, but I've got about 16 of these 10 gallons and, and I use them for different things at different times. Um, one, it can be a quarantine tank. Uh, and then you know, the next one, it might just be a type of plant that I just want um, separated like this. Um, this is a good kind of a, a specimen of Rickia. I had this in my main red cherry shrimp tank, uh, my Bloody Mary uh, shrimp. They really like this. However, I have some uh, moss in that tank that has grown so big that there, it is now competing with the rickia. Um, it, grown up, it grew up to the top up and is, was touching the bottom of the rickia here, and the rickia was basically cutting out the light. And the rickia is also grown fairly massive. Um, just looking down at it from the top of the tank, it's a fourth of the size looking down of the tank. Uh, so th this, this bunch is pretty big. Um, when I originally got it, I got it in a tissue culture form. Um, I prefer the tissue cultures because it's one way to ensure that something might be snail free, pest free, um, hopefully bad bacteria free, stuff like that. But mostly just snails is my biggest concern. Um, all of my tanks, I have no snails um, with the exception of one tank. Um, within the last few months, I started a tank of just ram's horn snails. Um, it was just a side project I have going. But all my other tanks, they're they're snail free um, and I have different types of mosses in different tanks I just want to do some experiments and things like that so one benefit of having tons of tanks I can experiment and see what works what doesn't work uh, what may work with this Rigia might work in one tank but not the next and I can kind of figure out why because one is one way one's not yet that way um, stuff like that but anyways I had this tank um, Long story short, this is a new tank. There's nothing in it. I just put some water in it, did a couple things, and I wanted to keep this Rickia, but take it out of the tank that it was in, and I didn't want to put it in my, any of my other tanks because I have things going on in them. So I put it just in this tank. It's all by itself. It's not dying or anything like that at the moment, um, but I just put it in there about a week ago. Um, and yeah, uh, for the most part, I like it. The, the shrimp seem to really like it. Now... They, they will get up in there, they'll really um, kind of meant like, I don't know what to call it. No, it's not digging, but they'll like weasel their way through and just like algae will grow in there. Like just, just typical like green algae, maybe diatoms will, will be growing in there. Just different things, um, assuming biofilm and stuff like that. Um, and they just sometimes wander around through it. Um, it's just an extra food source for them. And I like to have something at the top just to kind of like, you know, there, there's something there so it's not bare. Um, I've tried different things, duckweed and all kinds of different random things. Um, from my understanding, duckweed and rickia don't really get along too well. Um, I think I did try them at some point, but I've completely rid of myself of duckweed. Um, and I do have thoughts of getting it back every now and then. Everything has its purpose and its place. It's kind of a good thing about having so many tanks that can be nice, but I mean, that, that's a whole different story. Um, but with Rikia, um, 
let's see. One of the things I wanted to focus on here, um, I originally got it as a tish, tissue culture, which was just a small cup, maybe like an ice cream cup size, about probably about the palm of your hand around, um, and maybe like two, three inches deep. And I got it like that. I, I, what I did was I split that up into four. I just ripped it basically into four sections and I put them in different um, different tanks and they basically just grew out. There's no, I can't give you a definitive, like a definite time frame of exactly how long it took to grow how big, but I can tell you it grows pretty steadily just with light um, is really the, the biggest thing it needs and it just kind of grows up a little, falls over and it's just constantly just kind of growing up and falling over like grass might be. Um, might do you know outside um, but really it's it's really just like a tangled mess of just a really stringy grass type substance um, and it just floats on the water um, now one other way thing you can do with it is you can that I've seen I've done myself but I didn't like it is you can kind of tie it down to stuff or just attach it in some way maybe even glue it I don't know it I don't think that would work out too well but you can basically attach it to things lower down if you want and what happens is it basically you know it, it's a plant it grows up towards the sunlight but what i found that happened was it was a lot more stringy and it looked really just like kind of like strings just shooting up but the strings might branch off into a y and then and then a couple inches a few inches later it would branch off again into a y and it just it was it was kind of stringy and the tank i had it in did have some fish in it and they were for whatever reason getting into it and pulling on it which was weird so it was just, it would end up floating and it, it ended up just being a huge mess for me. Um, so I found I definitely, I like it more floating. Um, to get back with like the Neocaridina or I um, also have a mono shrimp, bamboo shrimp. Um, the Neocaridina and a mono shrimp, maybe even the bamboo shrimp, but I haven't necessarily seen them in it. But the mono shrimp will just hang underneath and do the same that the Neocaridina do, which is kind of pick around in it and just look for algae and maybe old food or who knows what but they'll get in there now one thing i have found um just some odd things i found i have a cull tank which with just massive amounts of cherry shrimp um hundreds upon hundreds and what i found in there they will once the food starts getting low they will start going at whatever is in there and one thing odd thing that i found is they will quite literally they're not attacking the rickia but whatever they're eating in there um, I would assume it's like little parts of the rickia that are dying off and some algae and stuff like that. They're constantly picking at it so much that it almost like, it's like it's been like cut up really fine and grated like, it's it's like after you cut a lawn and there's just pieces of grass, it's almost what it is and it's really fine and it's just everywhere. And it's almost like they're doing that which is causing the little bits to die and then they end up eating the little pieces a few days later when they've died more. And I don't think they're necessarily doing it intentionally, but with them wiggling through there, maybe they're breaking it apart as they wiggle through and do different things. I don't know. But for fairly uh, normal size colony, I would say under 100 maybe. Um, they don't seem to really do that. They just kind of coexist in harmony and just kind of get along. Um, so it's definitely good. I, I like it for neocaridina shrimp, just for something to float on the top. Um, and I like the looks of it. It's nice, it's clean. Um, duckweed can kind of get like, just, I mean, it, it'll engulf your whole, the whole top of your tank, um, which is a, can be a thing, but it, it also, duckweed, once it gets too much, it'll kill itself out to some extent, and you just have like yellowing duckweed or dying duckweed, and it just kind of might look nasty. But with, with Rickia, it just kind of, it just slowly grows and keeps getting bigger. I've never grown one big enough to where it covers more than half the tank. For me, it's, it's enjoyable that I can just like, I can reach in there and literally just tear off a chunk. You could and throw it in another tank, it could be upside down, it can be sideways, whatever. It will eventually just be growing and keep getting bigger. So the size that you're seeing in the tank, that is probably two of my hands. Um, you're seeing this zoomed in, you know, because my hand's closer. Uh, but it's about two of my hands wide. And that's just from a smallish piece that started, you know, way back, maybe the size of a golf ball. Um, so what I'm going to do actually, looks like it went out of focus. Uh, I'm going to lift the camera up and I'm going to lift the Rickia out of the water. So maybe you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, this is a zoomed out version. I'm putting my hand underneath it and I'm just going to pick it up from underneath and pull it out. And it's, it's almost like, 
you know, get in a little bit. Like, um, I don't know, like, I don't know what to describe it as. It's, it's, it looks and feels almost like AstroTurf or like something you might see, like a putt-putt course, just like fake grass or, um, yeah. But it can, like, if things get in it, you can see here there's little little bits just fall off and kind of swirl around. And it can be messy in that sense, but not messier than a lot of stuff I've seen out there, like, uh, that might start yellowing and do weird things, um, duckweed or whatnot. It more or less just looks like a freshly mowed yard where there's grass clippings, stuff like that. So, um, but when I lift it up, I don't know if you could see, it gets paper thin. Um, I mean, let me get the edge here. So this is like a few inches deep, but when you lift it up, it's, I mean, not paper thin, but maybe like a half inch to an inch. That's not even, you get bad uh, angles here because it's still kind of folding around my fingers, but, but yeah. And I mean, you can take this and flip it upside down and nothing bad happens. It'll just start growing that way after, you know, probably a week or two. Um, so it's a pretty versatile plant or whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like it, but like I said, everything has its kind of time and place. Um, and that's the unfortunate issue with the, with me with aquariums. I don't know if you want to call it ADD or whatever, but I kind of constantly like to try different things and move things around. And that's the benefit I like of having different tanks. Um, I'm not like doing different things every day, but I might be like, all of a sudden I'd be like, and Ricky really isn't working out in there. I'm just gonna put it in this tank for now. I got nothing in this tank, it would work in this tank, and I can just do that, which is nice. Um, a lot of people, um, I won't get into like water parameters, with aquariums, and being 10 gallons or anything like that, but um, I don't really have any issues with people talk about the fluctuations and stuff, so. Um, but that's a, a general um, kind of overview of what I found about Rikia. I haven't seen a whole lot of people really go into depth or talk about just their findings, like what they found with Rikia personally. Um, so I just wanted to do kind of a video with that. A lot of the videos I make are things that I never found a whole lot of information on. And I ended up doing like a ridiculous amount of research and then end up, you know, maybe buying certain things. And this is my way of kind of putting something back out there that maybe I never found much on that I, maybe I would have wanted to know that other people can now know. Um, kind of a sharing the knowledge situation. Um, but like anything, of course, I have my own motives. Um, I wouldn't mind making a little bit of money off, off of, you know, videos or something like that. Something I can put back in a hobby because, I mean, I'm not rich. I don't know about anyone else, but there's this feel. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind liking or disliking, um, if you don't mind, comment. Um, let me know if it's helpful. Uh, or, you know, any ideas or questions you may have. If you want to subscribe, go for it. You can uns unsubscribe later. Don't matter to me. But all that helps. Um, I like to always like to throw some more money in this hobby and venture out into different areas. Fish, maybe, or other types of shrimp, or who knows, crabs, or who knows what. Uh, might, might be able to get into and make more videos. Um, so if you guys don't mind doing that, I'd appreciate it. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me Maybe I could do a video on. I can, I'm not going to do a video immediately, but... I wouldn't just buy something and make a video about it, not knowing anything about it. But this is just my opinions on what I've learned about things. So I'm by no means like a scientist or anyone crazy good at aquariums or anything like that. But yeah. So hope you guys uh, have a good day. Stay safe out there and goodbye.